What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel investors guys in today's video I have a very interesting concept to share with you guys and it pretty much all revolves around this concept of market cycles And what are like the best months and days to buy stocks? We're gonna be looking at one of the best traders of all times and taking a look at his patterns that were developed over decades and decades To find out which are the best months and even more specifically Which are the best times to buy stocks and you guys are gonna find out there is a day specifically in December that has a 95% success Success rate and of course this will all just be the first couple minutes of the video and then I'm gonna jump into three stocks that are getting beaten down right now during this market downtrend that I am personally buying because they're getting at levels that are just too hard to pass up and when you compile these three stocks getting beat down with the data that we're gonna look at telling us when this market should essentially go back up now is definitely a buying opportunity so guys if that all sounds interesting make sure and stay tuned for this one it is most definitely going to be a good one and guys I know the market it is red I know it is bloody out there but train yourselves train your brain get familiar for this enjoy the red days don't enjoy the green days enjoy the red days guys because this is where the money is made when you buy in the red and then you sell on that next ride all the way back up with that said guys first make sure and subscribe to the channel and definitely turn on those bell notifications so you never miss an important video just like this one and also if you're looking for a place to buy some of these stocks and get yourself up to five free stocks value up to $3,500 each, which is absolutely insane. Make sure and check out the link in the description below to Moomoo, where you can also get your free level two data. And with that said, guys, let's get right into this video. So guys, personally, I'm a big fan of market cycles. I'm a big fan of looking at trends and studying some of these professional traders to understand what they look at and what they find. And what you can see is there's truly are specific months over the last decades and decades and decades that line up to be some of the best stocks to buy stocks and some of the best times to sell stocks is that September is one of the worst months to buy stocks and as you guys can see that 100% came to fruition as we can see here from the graph of the S&P 500 pretty much the whole entire month of September stocks continue to trend downward and downward and downward guess what October November December January February March and April these are some of the best times to buy stocks and as you can see that is already playing out like we can see here now this time December we are starting to trade a little bit sideways here and in fact go down quite a bit the question is what are we gonna see for the rest of the month so let's take a look at a professional trader here his name is Larry Williams I look at all of his stuff his YouTube channel here so I just took a few screenshots from the video and from their website so we didn't get copyrighted at all but take a look at some of this stuff right here so this is the December seasonal pattern and this is data compiled all the way up to 2020 as we can see this December 6 16th, what just happens to be exactly today no I didn't even plan this but it just happens to be exactly today is usually the range for the bottom of the stock market for the month of December and usually we have that rally for the rest of December which is called the mid month or the Santa rally and as you can see from this chart right here it plays out exactly like that but what's crazy is even if we date this all the way back to 1987 as you can see the seasonal pattern really doesn't even change even during a very very bearish year this was an extremely bearish year and as we can see the December rally the Santa rally the mid-December rally it took off once again as you can see it went way up in that December 16th right about at the middle of the month was pretty much the turning point for the market now this is where it gets extremely interesting right here this breaks it down even further to the specific days so this is trading days until the end of the month so these all right here are trading days until the end of the month which are the best days to invest in the month of December and as we can see right here the fourth day from the end of the month and that is trading days remember so I believe that it's going to be the 22nd of December is going to be four days out from the last trading day of the month that is the most profitable day in December to buy stock and as we can see this has a 95% success rate which is extremely high and also the fifth day out has about the same thing along with the six and seven so this whole range right here are some of the best days to buy stocks at, or at least it trade stocks because as we can see they have a very high success rate of that day being extremely profitable as we can see the worst days here are about 14 days out which is where we are about right now which obviously today was a pretty rough day in the market and also the first day out 
why the first day out well obviously this is a big big day for investors to dump a lot of their positions for tax loss harvesting all revol december is the month for taxes of course because it is most companies year end and as we can see even branching off of this even further we can see that there is a thing called the january effect where stocks tend to rally in the month of january i won't go through it all this is for lots of reasons invested bonuses all kinds of stuff but as we can see since 1938 29 out of 30 years of gains seen in january and february resulted in an average yearly s p 500 advance of 20 percent so extremely big in the month of january and gauging off of the last video we did the following months are going to be very very good as well but as we can see here the first stock is end face we have rode end face through the storms all the way up all the way down it has been amazing we have traded this stock multiple times and have made so much money on end face our first entry was down here at about 117 dollars which is insane we rode this all the way up and we were selling somewhere around this range with about 50 50 some ish percent gains and then once this stock came back down we started to buy it again in the 140 150 dollar range and then once again we rode it all the way back up to the top once it started to hit 200 dollars is when i started to say it is a very good time to take some profit because we haven't seen these numbers before if you kept holding obviously it rode all the way up to about 260 some dollars now we are back down under 200 i'm looking to start picking up this stock once again especially as we should have a rally in the next few months now obviously enface is just a great all-around company not just to trade but to hold for a long time the product they have obviously is integrated solar and storage and energy managed that oversees an entire energy solution it is an absolutely amazing company this company is obviously extremely uniquely positioned in a very very fast growing sector which which obviously is solar energy with all these climate change concerns with the new administration in sustainable energy i mean everything revolves around clean energy right now and obviously Enphase is at the forefront of all of this and looking at their recent earnings recap they are absolutely killing it recording revenue of 351 million dollars which is up almost 100 percent year over year which is absolutely insane now the one important thing i want to share with you guys about Enphase as well is their entrance into the ev industry and we looked at this the last video we did on Enphase, so i'm not going to go too in depth here but as we can see the acquisition of clipper creek is expected to enable this bi-directional charge capability for vehicle to home and vehicle to grid applications once again just adding another sector to this already amazing end face business now obviously every stock has its bad things and we can see here this is arguably the worst news for end faces stock kramer's lightning round i like end face energy over ev go which by the way i like both of these companies but as we know do i even have to say it when Kramer starts to recommend things, it gets a little bit fishy and you don't always want to be in those investments. So just be careful with that. Now, taking a look here at tip ranks, we can see that investors, analysts, they are extremely bullish on this stock with an average price target of around $253 per share, which is actually much higher. Take a look at how interesting this is. All the way back here, we see that their price targets are around 216, 270, all the way around here. You know, about 20, 30, 38%, something like that. But when you scroll up, look how much more bullish these price targets get which are obviously the more recent ones we're talking about 284 315 292 i mean these are massive price targets so this is very good to see as analysts are reiterating their price targets and it's getting higher and higher every time they do so so really this average is a bit misleading because it is taking into consideration some of these older price targets that really shouldn't be in there anymore now the next stock on today's list is matterport guys i absolutely love matterport stock it is a stock that we have been in once again for a pretty long time we bought this at 13 dollars as soon as it came out as a SPAC and then obviously it dropped all the way down to about seven dollars per share not sure if this is a glitch in the graph here but it definitely didn't go down this low but it was sitting somewhere down at that seven eight nine ten dollar range for quite a while where we were buying it once again and obviously we rode this stock all the way up to about 37 dollars was its high which even at about 13 dollars is over 100 percent gains on this play now it is coming back down and it is starting to get at a very very attractive price level because of this massive opportunity opportunity that they have so it says if you are ready to jump head first into the metaverse i invite you to check out the company matterport it says matterport share price could double as the metaverse expands rapidly obviously the metaverse is a place where you can play games shop socialize create art 
all in this digital universe. But as we talked about before multiple times, this isn't the first time talking about Matterport, who is making these digital worlds? Well, obviously it is Matterport's 3D scanning technology where they take these images, they scan a room and they can develop a 3D image which is used for the metaverse. So their technology is essentially creating this metaverse where people can play games, shop, all with their VR headsets and all in these virtual worlds, right? But without them, it is nearly impossible to create this metaverse. So this is a very, very important company and they are landing some huge partnerships like we are going to take a look at. As we can see here, the first one is Amazon. It says Matterport announced that its platform will be available on Amazon's cloud platform. As we can see also, it says Matterport just might be a virtual lock on profits and we can scroll down that they also have a partnership between Matterport and Meta platforms, also known as Facebook. They look to create the largest ever data set of 3D indoor spaces exclusively for academic non commercial uses. So they're going to be using Matterport scan technology to develop these 3D indoor spaces. That is exactly what Matterport does. It says at the end of the day, the sky isn't the limit for Matterport stock and here on planet earth, price still matters and often has physical constraints like gravity. So you can take that for what it's worth. But as we can see over here, analysts are pretty bullish on Matterport as well, having a $32 price target on this stock, which is about 50% from where it sits right now. And these are pretty much all five-star analysts giving these price targets. But the reality is we talk a lot about the metaverse on this channel because I do think it is going to be a booming moving forward here because it is full speed ahead. Facebook already changing its name. I mean, this is getting big. And I think Matterport could be one of the safest investments in this category, just like Facebook. Why? Because they are such a big company and they also do other things look when i got into matterport stock when it was a spac i don't know if i was just blind but i had no idea even about the metaverse i got into this stock for the real estate aspect of it now being that there is this metaverse end to it as well we have two separate ends which are both equally great which just gives me even more of a reason to be more and more bullish on this stock so when this stock starts to drop below 20 dollars, even where it sits right now this is personally a great buy in my opinion as i think it could easily double to around 40 dollars per share because it was already at a number pretty close to that now the last stock on today's list is neo and we have to talk a lot about neo because the question is am i going to be selling out a neo or not and it really may surprise you so let's talk about some good news first first off neo day is coming up here on december 18th and there looks to be some great things to come out first off it looks like we will see the company revealing a new electric vehicle and also possibly a new electric vehicle brand which is pretty crazy we'll have to see what all that comes down to but other rumors also claim we might see the company reveal a multi-purpose ev as well during the event all we're gonna have to do is just wait for neo day but this could be very very bullish and historically has been bullish if we get some great news here from neo on what they're coming out with what they're doing their batteries all this different stuff we could ultimately see a good rally in the stock price now we know neo is killing it in every other regard i'm not even going to look at the articles again every month every single month neo's uh deliveries are going up and up every single quarter their revenue is going insane i mean they're the direction their stock price is traveling which is obviously down and that is due to the broader market but the direction the stock price is traveling does not reflect what the company is all ultimately doing they're doing all this during the chip shortage i mean this company i would be absolutely loading up on this stock and i still am to a certain extent if it wasn't for one reason and that is this right here sorry to bring up the motley Fool article but it is pretty good so it says investors are getting more skeptical about putting their money into shares of china-based companies after the u.s securities and exchange commission the sec recently decided to tighten its grip on foreign companies listed in the u.s the sec will accomplish this by implementing a law requiring companies to submit their accounts reports and other documentation for audit if they fail to comply they face the risk of being banned from trading on u.s stock markets so obviously there is a ton of things going around about all of these china stocks people are getting scared they could possibly be delisted and as it says here most chinese stocks currently listed in the u.s will be delisted by 2024 now, i don't know if this is 100 true or not but it is what this investor is saying which obviously not surprisingly this is cautioning investors and it is for me as well so like i said i'd be absolutely loading up on neo if it wasn't for this 
This is throwing me off, getting me a bit scared. We've already made a lot of money on Neo, been in Neo for a very long time. Do I want to take more of a risk? The answer is probably not. So I still have a lot more research to do about this. I still have a lot more thinking to do about it. Obviously, I will keep you guys updated. But for now, my thought is ultimately to wait a bit here as we see the Santa rally, the January run, and for the next few months, we have Neo Day coming up, all kinds of good stuff where we can hopefully see Neo stock continue to rally even higher, hopefully up back over $40 per share and essentially and more than likely even higher if we get a big enough run. And at that point, I will probably be selling most of my Neo shares. At least at a minimum, I will be getting all of my personal capital out of there and possibly letting the profits ride. We'll just have to see how that goes. Like I said, I will continue to keep you guys updated, but this is scary. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think? Are you still invested in Neo and these other Chinese companies? I would love to discuss with you guys down in the comments, but that is all I have for you in today's video, guys. Three stocks that I am very bullish on and buying, with the exception of maybe-ish Neo, and also where the stock market could be headed based off a professional trader who has decades and decades and decades of data all compiled into these charts. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Make sure and subscribe to the channel. Also, go get your free stocks with Moomoo. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.